My name is Nick Mitchell. I'm a personal trainer in London. I own a gym called Ultimate Performance. Uh, here in this gym, we train everybody from pop stars and soap stars to professional athletes um, and lots and lots of regular people in the art and science of body composition. Most of the, uh, the men who come to see us here at Ultimate Performance, their, their primary goal is to build muscle and lose fat at the same time. Some people will tell you it's impossible. That isn't true, but it is difficult. You need to be disciplined, you need to follow certain basic ground rules, and really you need to work your butt off. But if you do that, for a period of time, you can build muscle and burn fat at the same time. Don't let these monkeys tell you that physiologically speaking it's impossible, blah, 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 blah. It's not impossible. Uh, regularly, regularly we'll see people uh, over the course of six weeks gain 10 pounds of muscle and lose 15 to 20 pounds of fat. But these people, to a man, are individuals who are very disciplined and will drive themselves and will be very, very strict in following the advice that, that I give them. So the basic rules for, for building muscle and losing fat simultaneously are an emphasis on your, in your exercise program must be on weight training. You will, will not stimulate muscle growth without hard intensive weight training. Go seek a professional to get the right advice on the right weight training regime for you. Following advice from a magazine, training your overall body three times a week, spinning your wheels in the gym will not do it. You've got to go in and you've got to bust your butt in that gym. You've got to not just break a sweat, you've got to feel really, you want the best, you want the best, best results. You've got to come in, you've got to feel like puking. You feel like puking, you feel sick, you feel nauseous when you're in the gym. That means you know you're doing your job. You don't always have to feel like that, but sometimes it's, it's, you know, it's going to help. You've got to do a certain amount of cardio. Maybe I'm going to qualify everything I say. 20% of you need to do weight training and some cardio, but another 30% of you definitely don't need to touch cardio at all because you're skinny dudes who put a little bit of fat on but will lose the fat easy, but you won't put the muscle on easy. So you have to look at your body. You have to look at your body type. If you're a naturally husky guy, you think putting muscle on isn't a problem, but losing fat is, then you've got to combine weight training with cardio. But the weight training must come first. The weight training must be three times a week, four times a week, five times a week. It depends on your recovery ability, your motivation, your time. The cardio could be 15 minutes after the weight training. Always do the cardio after the weight training. Never, ever, ever, ever do it before. If you work with one of these trainers who tries to get you to do 15 minutes on a treadmill before you start weight training, sack them because they don't know anything. After the weight training and after the cardio, your diet. For some people will tell you diet's 40% of the equation. Other people will tell you diet's 80% of the equation. It's not. Without the right training and without the right diet, you, you, you'll get nowhere. So they're both equally important. The diet is crucial. The, I can give you the paradigm of a, of a training program, the, the perfect regime that's absolutely right for you. It will do nothing if you wake up in the morning, you skip your breakfast, you go into work, and at 11 o'clock, you decide to have a Snickers and a can of Coke. It's, nothing is going to happen for you. The key to losing fat and building muscle at the same time is to eat regular small meals. I, some will say every three hours. I actually think if you, were, if you were absolutely bang on it, every hour and a half. You need to eat a certain amount of protein with, within that time, within each meal. Protein is going to be your primary, your primary macronutrient out of carbohydrates and fat. I would aim for one and a half to two grams of protein per pound of lean body weight if I was a man, and I would aim for about one to one and a half grams of protein per pound of lean body weight if I was a woman and seeking to, to, to lose fat and gain muscle at the same time. If somebody came to me and said, I've got six weeks to get in the best possible shape, my goal is to lose as much fat as possible and to gain as much muscle, the way I would train them 80% of the time, this is for 80% of individuals, would be I would train them four times a week or five times a week. I would have them do interval training when they're not with me. I would have them do 15 minutes climbing the stairs after the workout. And what I would do with their diet, I would have them eat two grams of protein per pound of body weight. I'd have them eat green vegetables. And that's it. So high protein, green vegetables, protein from natural sources, red meat, eggs, things like that. So you're going to get quite a lot of fat in there as well. I'll do that for two weeks and then I would monitor my conditioning and I would add carbohydrates in terms of, in the form of yams, sweet potatoes, maybe some berries at certain times, depending upon my condition. And those are the basic rules for, um, for losing fat and gaining muscle as quickly as possible at the same time.